Okay, so this is a screen recording for uh, Logic Tutorials. Uh, the first thing you need to do is um, switch Soundflower to your audio interface. Uh, I'm using a Tascam Fire 1 here, so I selected that. Um, if you don't have any external audio hardware, you can just uh, use the built-in uh, output here and select that. Then you go to your sound preferences and for your output and input you select the Soundflower 2 channel, the same one we selected up here. You know, Soundflower 2 channel and it's routing the Fire 1 uh, output back to the system. So you can see your levels here and no, if I do this thing, uh, you heard it through the, um, the feedback loop. Um, in QuickTime X, what you need to do, this is QuickTime X, little screenshot, uh, you click on this little triangle and you're gonna have this little thingy pop up. And this is the default setting, built-in input uh, internal microphone. And this is only gonna record the built-in microphone if you're on a laptop and you need to switch that to Soundflower 2 channel so that uh, your QuickTime screen recorder uh, records your system output. Okay, uh, next up in Logic and your all your preferences you have this um, output device and input device uh, the input device is just your, you know, your sound card or your your built-in input, if you're using uh, the built-in mic. And output device, you select Soundflower. You don't want to select uh, Soundflower as input because then you have a nasty feedback loop, um, which is something you don't want. It's very loud, very annoying, even with headphones, because you have the the system output being fed right back into Logic and if you got the input monitoring on which you also need for this then it's gonna be nasty. So uh, the reason why you can hear myself right now is because I made a new channel here input 1 that's where my microphone here is plugged in and I switch on the input monitoring so you can hear me speak right now. You can even, you know, switch in some effects here like a compressor, which is always nice for a spoken word, or even a pitch shifter. Yeah, this is me talking with a pitch shifter. Uh, and uh, low latency mode is also a good option. Uh, if you don't see it here, you can right click here, customize transport bar, and there it is, low latency mode. So it, so it appears in here. The uh, thing is about Soundflower, it introduces a little bit of delay. So you're gonna have kind of a delay on your headphones when speaking. So you really want the low latency mode. And now the good thing about this, I can play something back here. And I could still talk over it. Um, I don't have my headphones on because the delay is too annoying on this particular setup here. Um, another annoying thing is uh, I can solo myself here. And I can solo something else like say this little bass lane that starts about now. Um, the bad thing is if I uh, unclick the solo here, and uh, you're not gonna hear me again. You know, la 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 la. Um, you just heard me drop out here. So you have to remember, if you solo anything here, you have to solo yourself too, so the people watching your video can hear you talk. And yeah, that's basically it.